Hey, this is Mo Smokes, and today we're going to be talking about the Helix from Mason Shisha Wear. So, for those of you that don't know, the Helix is considered somewhat of a unicorn in the Shisha world. Or at least it was until end of last year, I think? The Helix was first introduced in 2018, and then the last time it was produced was 2019. Since then, collectors have been dying to get a Helix. They're trying to buy it on the second-hand market. I've seen some go for like $700, $800. It's been crazy. Because of the increased demand and because people are clamoring like, oh, I really want a Helix, Mason Shisha Wear brought back the Helix. It's not like it was ever canceled. It just wasn't made for a while. So this is the Helix V2, and this came out in October of 2021. There was some feedback given, like some people wanted it to be a little bit bigger, some people wanted it to be a little less sharp, some people wanted the spire to be a little bit lower, and basically Mason Shisha Wear being the company that they are, updated it to the V2, I guess, 0.2, if you will, which is a little bit bigger, stands a little bit taller if you can see there, and I'll bring the camera in so you can actually get a better look at it. It's this bowl, capacity is 11 to 16 grams. I get 12 grams of Element Air, which I have in front of me and I'll pack for you. And then I get 16 grams out of Tangiers. Keep in mind these are handmade, so they'll vary from bowl to bowl. And I'll actually show you how I pack it and kind of tell you a little bit more about the bowl. So without further ado, I'm gonna bring the camera in a little bit closer and let's pack some shisha. All right, so before I actually start packing the bowl, I wanted to point out a couple of things. This version right here is the version that came out in October of 2021. And this is the updated version that came out in November of 2021. You can see the difference in size. This one's a little bit bigger. The updated version is a little bit bigger. Also the inside is a little bit bigger. So like the spire is wider, but also the trench is a little bit deeper. And then also the colors are slightly different, but these are both considered the Amalfi color. Another thing I wanted to point out, obviously, you know, I use the provost a lot. The provost will sit on it perfectly as it sits on most bowls. Obviously there's gonna be foil here and I'll actually show you how I foil it too, but it sits on it perfectly. Again, as it will on most bowls. Don't judge me, I didn't clean this yet, but I have a Lotus here. The Lotus also sits on it perfectly. And here, show you from the side. So you can use either the Lotus or the Provost with this. All right, now what I wanted to talk about here, let's let's move this one out of the way. Now that we've established that, you know, this is the updated version. A couple of things I wanted to point out. So the Spire is thick on this, but also it's deceptive when you pack it. So a lot of people are falling into this trap where they feel like, oh, I'm just going to pack it here and it's good to go. It's actually deep and narrow. So what you want to do is when you're packing, you truly do want to make sure that you're fluff packing the tobacco in and then adjusting the density accordingly. So here I have Element Air Bellini, and I'm just gonna grab some of the shisha, grab the bowl, and then basically what you're gonna do is you're going to drop it into the trench. Again, drop it into the trench. And you're just gonna move the bowl around as you're doing this. Keep dropping it into the trench. And I'm gonna actually stop here for a second just to show you from the side. Do you see how it's stacking to the right level? So I'm just dropping it to the right level, dropping it into the trench until you get to the density or until you get to the height that you're looking for based on the tobacco that you're packing. So here it looks like this. You'll see it's a little above the rim. And then what I'm going to do is I'll get a foil poker or I'll get a toothpick or I'll do it with my fingers, but not smush it to where it gets to the right density. All right, once I get the right amount of tobacco in there, you'll see here it's slightly above the rim. I'm going for a heavy normal on this. So what I'll do is I'll either grab a foil poker or I'll grab a toothpick or I'll actually just use my finger, but be very careful to maintain a heavy normal pack. All right, more or less, it's gonna look like this. This is a heavy normal in the Helix. And again, I just did a heavy normal because that's how I pack Element Air. It looks like that. Notice that it's not just like I have tobacco at the top and then at the bottom it's empty. I fluff packed, I made sure it went all the way down to the bottom of the trench, and then I adjusted accordingly. Uh, like I said, I use my fingers, but feel free to use a toothpick or a foil poker, whatever you're more comfortable with. Some of the problems that I'm seeing is that people, when they pack, they pack it just at the surface level and they don't realize that the tobacco isn't actually going all the way down to the bottom of the trench. Now you don't wanna just stuff it in there, but if you fluff pack it the way that I did at the beginning and then adjust accordingly, you actually won't have that problem. You'll have it to where your bowl is packed from you know, top to bottom at the proper density. There's a blonde like Element Air. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pack Tangiers. All right, so I mostly wiped everything down and now I'm just gonna pack some Tangiers. 
unpacking nectarine, grab my bowl. So it's gonna be very much the same thing in terms of the setup. I have my shisha and I'm actually just pushing it off my fingers as I'm fluffing and separating it, making sure that it's not clumpy and moving my bowl around as I'm doing this. Again, when you're doing this, you wanna make sure that you're actually packing the whole bowl, not just the top of the bowl, meaning that you just don't go here and then move on just because it clumped up and got stuck at the top. You actually wanna make sure that you're fluffing it, separating it, and making sure that you're getting top to bottom. With Tangiers, it's a little bit easier and it's a little more forgiving because regardless, once you're done and you have your tobacco to the right height or you have your shisha to the right height, um, you're just gonna you know, push it down and level it out. Then packing it to where it's still shiny. What I really like about this is since the walls are so thick, when you're actually packing and trying to run your finger over it to make sure it's even with the rim and you know not too high, you have like a, natu a nice natural stop for your finger. All right, so more or less your bowl's gonna look like this. And again, my fingers are gross because of the you know shisha, but your bowl's gonna look like this. It's nice and even to the rim and it's ready for you to foil it and smoke it. All right, so once that's packed, all we really need to do, get some foil. Um, I'm gonna use this foil, which is like the Zomo strong foil. Just use one sheet of that. Grab the bowl. What you're gonna do is just pull like this. See how it's pulled? And then you're just gonna smack it on there. There's a couple ways you could do this. I mean, you guys know how to foil, I think. But what you wanna do is make sure that it's as tight as possible. So here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pinch and then I'm gonna pull down here. And then I'm gonna do the same thing on the other side and make sure that's nice and tight. And then what you can do is you can come around the side and actually just pull down gently to make sure that those parts that are sticking up are no longer sticking up. And then the nice thing about the Helix is like there's actually a ridge here um, under the lip where you can actually just squeeze. Here you have your foil as tight as possible. You can see that because it looks as tight as possible. So here I'm just gonna hold the sides. I have a foil poker, you can use a toothpick, whatever. Um, since this is Tangiers, I'm actually just gonna go all the way down. I use a more open hole pattern when I do this. And again, I'm just pushing all the way down. Again, because it's Tangiers, anything else, you can just you know poke your holes. And this is slow motion. This is me going super slow when I'm poking these holes. But here, And it's okay if it dips down a little bit and I'm talking about the foil. I'll show you how to adjust that here all the way down and then here, 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 oh, here, here, and there. Now what you're gonna do is grab this, pull down some more anywhere it dipped, again, to get your foil as tight as possible. That's the key here. You want your foil to be as tight as possible. And the reason I keep saying that and the reason I keep stressing it is that if your foil is loose, what will happen is when you smoke, the foil will go down in what's called foil drag and will pull into the spire of the bowl under the bottom there. And this foil will lay on top of the tobacco and it'll burn prematurely and it's gonna taste disgusting and it's not gonna be great. So you want your foil to look like this. Bounce a quarter on it, whatever you wanna do, and then if you're me, you cut the foil that's like from here down. If you're not me, then, you know, you leave your bowl looking like this and you cover up what the helix looks like to begin with, which, you know, that's what you want to do. That's when you're, what you want to do. No judgment from me. So technically what I'm about to do is I'm going to go get a haircut. Then I'm going to set up a shisha and then I'm going to smoke this, this same bowl. You'll, you'll see in the after that I look different, but the bowl will look the same, except oh, I'm going to cut this off. This, this looks terrible. All right, so we're back. Uh, I cut the foil, obviously. I just got back from the barber shop, so I got cut too. And um, I look a little bit different than I did in the first half, but I mean, hey, I gave you the heads up when I was packing the bowl and you know poking holes in the foil that this is what was gonna happen. So here we are. I already started it up. I'll show you how it's hitting. So the thing I love about this bowl is that it maintains heat really well. It's a thick stoneware bowl, as you're used to from Mason Shisha wear, and it doesn't really take a lot of tobacco. Like Tangiers is 16 grams, and that's it. So it's gonna give you a great session regardless. I've been getting consistent sessions with it. No heat spikes, no problems. The walls are thick, so again, it maintains that heat. You don't get any heat spikes. And honestly, I think Mason Shisha Wear may have messed up with this bowl. Like this bowl is as good as the gravel when it comes to blonde and it handles dark really, really well. So 
If you're thinking about picking up a Helix, next drop, when it comes out, make sure you pick that up. Like I said, all of the problems from the first version of V2 have been addressed. It's a slightly bigger bowl. You can use blonde with it. You can use dark with it. You can use a Provost. You can use a Lotus. You can smoke the way that you regularly smoke and you're going to get a good session. All right. So thank you for watching. Make sure you like, make sure you comment, make sure you subscribe, make sure you're following me on Instagram at Moa Smokes. If you have any questions, I'm always happy to answer. Either leave them in the comments or feel free to DM me directly on at Moa Smokes on Instagram. I'm always happy to help. I'll see you guys next time and, you know, happy smoking. <laughs>